Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Simply Espresso. Coming to you this morning from the northeast of Scotland. So, I've decided to do a second review today, as the weather is absolutely glorious, and we've got beautiful sunlight coming into the kitchen, which makes my job a little bit easier with uh, the recordings. Um, so, as mentioned in my previous review, um, we are going back to Sweden with Standard Coffee. These beans actually came in today, and I'm very, very eager to try them. This is a Panama Natural. Panama Natural Gesha from the Jaramillo Estate. And tasting notes. So expect an aromatic natural Gesha with notes of tropical fruits, blackberry, wild berries, and plum. And well done to Standout Coffee for changing their packaging slightly. I think this looks really classy. So before they just used to send out um, the beans with a bit of paper, with the notes, etc. This feels like an actual business card. They've now got their logo on the back of the card as well. And it really pops out. Very, very nice. Very impressive. Well done for that. Okay, so I'm so eager to try this one actually. So I've already weighed out the 18 grams of beans. So what we'll do is we'll just pop along to the niche and take a look at the settings. So back in a second, guys. Okay, guys, that's us back. Um, we're looking at the beans on the niche. So I would suggest that the beans are medium to light roasted. I have the dial on the niche set at nine. So that's quite fine. Um, but I'm hoping that that will be fine enough for us to get a decent shot and a consistent one. So what we'll do next guys, just go on to the grind, okay? Okay guys, so welcome back. That's us at the Bureau Sticker ready to pull a shot. So the boiler's sitting at 94 degrees Celsius. The pack has been prepped with 18 grams of coffee, so we hope to get 36 grams out in approximately 25 to 30 seconds, give or take. So let's get on to the shot, shin shot then, shall we, and see what we get. Okay, so that shot was pulled in 28 seconds, and the weight is 36.3 grams. As you can see, a little bit of crema forming there. So I'm relatively pleased with that shot. We did, we've got minimal amount of channeling, and it looks to be a good consistent shot, that one. So pretty pleased with that. So what we'll do is just pause here for a second, and let the brew cool down slightly. And when we come back, we'll do a tasting. Back in a second, guys. Okay guys, so welcome back. That's us ready to pull a shot. No, not pull a shot, that's us ready to do a tasting. Apologies guys, getting mixed up there. Um, so, as you can see, just a little bit of crema left over there. I'm really, really looking forward to trying this one. So let's uh, get on to the taste, or the nose first, shall we? Oh, there's some floral notes there. Some fruits, there's sweetness too. That smells very, very rich. That's a lovely nose. All right, let's get on to the taste. Mm. 
that's rich and bold, but it is so, so delicate on the palate. Smooth down the throat, oily. That's just lovely. So initially you hit with some citrus and acidity. Not too much acidity, but um, definitely acidity. There's some fruits there, a bit of zesty lime. There's berries, red berries, red fruits, a bit of chocolate. There's some sweetness there too. Brown sugar, I think. Mm, that is just very tasty. Let's have a second sip. Wow. Punch of acidity, punch of citrus, blackberries, and some plum. Getting a bit of blueberry as well. Some fruits there again, that zing of lime. Brown sugar sweetness coming through as well. Just cutting through that bit of acidity that you're getting. Just playing along really nicely together with all the flavors. Mm. That is delicious, absolutely delicious. I'm so glad that they included this this one in the uh, subscription. Um, and uh, I mean, it's just excellent. I mean, I've had a few geshes now and um, this one's pretty much at the top. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say about this. It's just, I mean, it's just got all the notes that I really enjoy. There's fruitiness, there's acidity, there's boldness, there's richness, there's sweetness. It's, you know, it's smooth, it's delicate on the palate, but it's still very rich. It's just pretty much exactly what I'm looking for when it comes to espresso. I haven't tried this as an Americana just yet, as I've only just got the beans. But I'm intrigued and I really would like to try the Americana soon just to see what we get with it. But as an espresso... It's just fantastic. Um, and again, it's going to score a high mark for me. Uh, Standard Coffee have once again um, sourced out an incredible bean. I would say I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10 again for Standard Coffee. Um, it just hits all of the notes I enjoy. I've already explained myself. I'm, I'm not going to go over it all over again. But um, this is top quality espresso in my opinion. Um, it's just, it's just, a, just a great, a great espresso. I, I don't know what else to say. Highly, highly, highly enjoyable. And, um, I suggest you pick it up if you can afford it. Um, it is a bit expensive. However, with the subscription, it's actually, uh, very reasonably priced. So take a look into that if you wish. Right. So that was Standard Coffee's Panama Natural Gesha, Jaramillo Estate. So for my next espresso review, we're going to be doing standard coffee again. This is one I wanted to actually review um, a while back, actually. But um, this is a um, Guatemalan washed gesha. So it's another gesha, Finca La Esmeralda, with notes of nectarine, jasmine flower and honey melon. So that's the next, next espresso review that I'll be doing. Um, so I look forward, really look forward to trying that one and seeing what we get. Okay, guys, so this will be my final review for the day. I think that's enough caffeine for today. So um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And please like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you wish. But um, as always, guys, have a fantastic day. I might do another review on Sunday. We'll see. But if I don't, I'll see you in the week. Take care, guys.